Sundance, Toronto to allocate 20% of credentials to underrepresented critics, says Brie Larson. Brie Larson closed Women in Film in No. 39 S Crystal Plus Lucy Awards on Wednesday night as the final honoree to take the stage inside the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, and she didn't in No. 39 T drop the mic. She broke major news about two of the industry in No. 39 S most prominent film festivals. The Oscar winner hinted that something big was coming within seconds of stepping behind the podium. I'm so grateful to be up here to receive this award so I can not thank my family and my team and instead talk about something that's really important to me," she explained in opening her speech, which came just after 9 p.m. I'd like to bring to light an aspect of our industry that has risen to the surface in the last week. This issue has a solution that each one of us in this room can participate in. Larson, accepting the Crystal Award for Excellence in Film, then referenced news that broke two days earlier when USC and No. 39 S. Annenberg Inclusivity Initiative released a report that analyzed the gender and race, ethnicity of the critics behind every Rotten Tomatoes review of 2017 and No. 39 S. 100 Highest Grossing Movies. The report titled Critic and No. 39 S. Choice? Found that out of 19,559 reviews, 77.8% were written by men and 82% were written by white critics. White men wrote 63.9% of reviews, compared with 4.1% penned by women of color. More reviews were also written by white women, 18.1%, than by men of color, 13.8%. This is a huge disconnect from the U.S. population of 30% white men, 30% white women. 20% men of color and 20% women of color," Larson explained. Why does that matter? Why am I up here talking about statistics when I could be up here talking about my publicist? Lindsay Gallen of Rogers & Cowan, who I love and thank you so much for bringing, presenter Jesse, up here and making this super emotional while I stand up here and rattle off percentages of people. Larson then made a point that she swung home three separate times. Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I and number 39 semicolon am not. Instead, what Larson was working towards is a larger point about having the right reviewers screen films that matter to specific demographics, an issue that has been gaining traction as the conversation about inclusion and diversity continues to get louder in all parts of the industry, including newsrooms that cover the entertainment industry. What I am saying is that if you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is an insanely low chance a woman of color will have the chance to see your movie and review your movie," she said to rousing applause in the room, which was filled to capacity and had already listened to speeches from honorees including ABC and No. 39 S. Channing Dungey and actress Alexandra Ship. We need to be conscious of our bias and make sure that everyone is in the room. Getting to the news of the evening. Larson delivered a personal lead-up explaining why this issue, one that she tweeted about on June 11, matters so much to her. It really sucks that reviews matter, but reviews matter, she said. Good reviews out of festivals give small independent films a fighting chance to be bought and seen. Good 